Appliances with metal cases should always be earthed. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that, there's, that the metal case is connected to the earth wire. And that earth wire is an alternative route for electricity to flow if there is a fault. And see, that's connected to the casing here. And if there is a fault, if the casing becomes live for some reason, then the current will flow through the casing, the metal casing, down the earth wire, the alternative route, and that would generate a large current, which would then blow the fuse, which is in the live wire, and cut off the electricity to the appliance. You may hear a little pop when that happens, uh, but it will make the appliance safe so that you won't get an electric shock. So let's explain how the earth wire and the fuse work together to protect users from an electric shock if there is a fault. Okay, a little time for a drawing. So here is our live wire. Okay, it's 240 volts live wire. It carries all of the electrical energy from the power station. And we're going to come into um, a let's say it's a cooker with an electrical with a, a metal casing and the live wire comes in and inside the cooker there are lots of heaters let's just put that as a, a shaded box like that for the moment and there is a fuse which is in the live wire which is rated at the the current at which the cooker will operate it operate. So if the if the cooker is operating normally at 10 amps, then this would be a 13 amp fuse, so that the fuse would not blow in normal operation. Okay, so that live wire goes into the the heaters of the cooker, and we need a return path, and that return path is a neutral wire, which comes out of the heater back to the power station. What happens if for some reason there was a fault and this live wire perhaps got frayed and touched the casing, the metal casing? Well metal is a conductor so suddenly this casing becomes 240 volts electrified. If you were to touch that, you'd get a very dangerous electric shock, which could be life-threatening. So to avoid this from happening, the casing is attached to the earth wire. Now, the earth wire runs back. And it's actually an alternative path, which is, is actually connected to the ground. And current is able to flow down that earth wire as an alternative to coming back down the neutral wire. Let's just put neutral here. So if that casing becomes electrified, maybe because there's a fault, then the electricity current will flow down the metal, down the earth wire, and the current will be very high. And Remember that the current has been supplied by the live wire, and so the fuse will blow, and that will cut off the supply to the appliance. So, in a nutshell, here we go. Um, if the casing uh, becomes live, then current will flow through the casing through the casing down the earth or down the connected earth wire we should say a large current I suppose here a large current will flow through the casing down the connected earth wire and this will blow the fuse, will melt the fuse in the live 
wire. Disconnecting the appliance. The um, electricity supply. Electricity supply. So that's how the earth wire works with the fuse to keep uh, metal cased appliances safe. Now if the appliance doesn't have a metal case then you don't need an earth wire. If it's a plastic case then electricity cannot flow through plastic, it's an insulator. So you wouldn't need an earth wire. So every appliance which has a metal case should always be earthed.